The following portion of Daytime is sponsored by Orthopedic Medical Group of Tampa Bay. Restoring worn out and injured joints isn't always easy, but these days biological approaches to treatment can offer an alternative to surgery. Joining us to tell us more about this is Dr. Jeff Watson with Orthopedic Medical Group of Tampa Bay. Welcome doctor, good to have you here. Good morning, thank you for having me. Oh, it's a pleasure. What? So what are the conditions that are appropriate for biologic injections? Sure, there's a lot of different conditions that probably meet the standard for having consistent pain, but maybe don't meet the standard to have surgery. And so soft tissue injuries where you have a trauma, um, degenerative conditions like arthritis. A lot of times patients are in between where they have enough pain, they wanna do something, but they haven't necessarily committed to doing like a knee replacement surgery. Are there any conditions that wouldn't benefit from biologic injections? Certainly, uh, conditions where there's a deformity, such as a displaced fracture, there's a mechanical problem like a ACL tear right. or shoulder instability. Those are a mechanical problem, they need to be fixed mechanically. Biologics won't solve that issue. Let's talk a little bit more about what biologics are. How do you obtain the material that you use in the injections and are they safe? Sure, biologics is the overarching term which encompasses essentially when we take material either from your body, which is called an autograft, or take material from someone else's body, which is called an allograft. Autographs can be uh, broken down into platelet-rich plasma. This device here that you see in front of me here is one of the type of devices that's used to separate out your blood into platelet-rich plasma, which has platelets and growth factors that can be used to help with healing. The other places that you can um, uh, obtain the material is from your fat or your bone marrow. So. I have a little device here that is what we use in the clinic to obtain fat. So the device up here and the little wand are utilized to slide underneath the stomach, mm -hmm. take a small amount of fat, and then that becomes the carrier that we inject into the body part that's been injured. And you can use that to treat your own conditions? Absolutely. That's the real concept here is we concentrate all the good materials from your body and then have you heal yourself. And it's not only from your own body, right? I know that stem cells are also used in the injections, but there's very specific language that doesn't allow you to advertise them as stem cell injections. Why? Yeah, there's, there's gotta be some caution in uh, the way that we talk about stem cells. Early on, when we started to develop these technologies, there were a lot of clinics that opened up and claimed that they were stem cells. And they were just material that didn't even have cells in it. So people were going in and paying super high prices for things that were not providing them the healing response. So we typically discuss these in terms of what they are, platelet-rich plasma, fat harvest, or uh, bone marrow uh, aspirate. And that's the way that we discuss it with the patients. There are stem cells inside of these. So if you go oh, to the okay. literature, you will find that the documentation of these technologies does show that there's stem cells in great concentrations. So what type of doctor should you go to to seek biologic treatment? I think that the best person for this is the one that knows you very well and also has the ability to offer you all of the solutions. So of course, surgery is one solution, but a lot of surgeons are capable of doing the harvesting and injections. Most of these treatments are injections into joints or area of soft tissue damage. So if you see your surgeon, you'll be able to get the full spectrum of answers. All right, Dr. Jeff Watson, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you teaching us about this. And if you'd like more information on joint preservation surgery and orthopedic medical group of Tampa Bay, visit omgtb.com. Daytime, we'll be right back. The preceding portion of Daytime was sponsored by Orthopedic Medical Group of Tampa Bay.